This video isn't about creating a Mac OS wannabe configuration, but just a demo of the new panel controls for Plasma 6, that may change in the final release. But anyway, that's how the things are at the moment. Okay, let's do this! First of all, I'm using X Session because I couldn't record on Wayland, and it matters because Plasma 6 lags a lot here, but it runs much smoother on Way. And second, before anything else I'm going to save my current configuration so I can restore immediately back after the video. Alright, all done. So let's begin, by entering on edit mode and remove this panel so we can start fresh. There is a bug when Plasma becomes panelless, but nothing to trouble us so we can continue. And by the way I'm going to record this in real time, so it may get fast without much of commentary. So, create a new default panel that has arranged all the items in reversed order, start menu on the right and clock on the left, but hey, nothing can be bugless on Plasma by core specifications. We'll deal with that later, but for now we'll put that panel on top, keep a line on center, and have it full width, always visible. I'll change to opaque style. We don't want this to float, and reduce the height to 30 pixels. Now we can move the plugins to the right order. Clock to the right. Start menu to the left. Remove the show desktop. Sys tray to the right. Virtual desktop pager to the left. And remove the running apps. Mmm. Then we need to add a spacer between the virtual desktops and the sys tray. And I bet that every time you do this, the original developer who thought of that is laughing on your misery. Then again, it wasn't so much of a disaster, cause we are done already from here, so we can create our second panel that will act like a dock. Oh! One more little editing only for those who don't use Plasma. If we want to remove items from SysTray, for example like the printing icon, we can do that from the SysTray preferences. Although I have to warn you that Plasma applets still don't store their settings, so if you remove them and add them again, you need to reconfigure them. Okay, I lost it a bit before but I managed it eventually, and now it's time for the non-fancy dock, and everything will start from an empty panel. This panel will only hold a favorites and running apps applet. And all those broken icons? Is because I'm using a third party icon theme, that I think I shouldn't but it's too late now. We got our applet on panel already. And the last step is to transform this panel to a dock, starting perhaps by the size, and setting it up to a glorious 48 pixels. Position and alignment are correct, and we'll only change the length of the panel, that normally we should put it on fit to content, but let's do custom size instead. From these four arrows we can set the minimum and the maximum size, and next let's set the auto hide policy. Usually we should pick on auto hide but that keeps the panel always hidden so we'll go with dodge. But you know what's my favorite part, don't you? The spacers obviously. Because for setting the icons in the middle we now need two of them, one on the right and one on the left. Oh! And the very bestest part? The width of the spacers sometimes gets random. How awesome is that? Um, I think we are done? We can test I guess, so let's open up something. A console maybe? and push down, and panel gets hidden, and maximize, and panel gets hidden again and reveals back on press, but without pressure sensitivity to remind you again, you just touch the bottom edge, super annoying. Also annoying, the panel doesn't reveal back on windows focus, and I don't believe that any of these behaviors are by design, but everything is just an embarrassing bug, like, I'm sorry very much, but KDE devs can't even do a proper auto hide? At least they improved the workspaces situation so now we can navigate between instead of selecting them. But you know what? All these fixes are common sense everywhere else, so they don't even count as fixes really. Which reminds me to fix one more thing, that docs should display the running apps from all the workspaces, that I have said it like a million times already in this very installation. But hey, you know, virtually every single Plasma applet is broken. And finally, Let's revert back with K on save. I'll put a link on YouTube description if you don't know the tool. 
K on save and L to list the save configurations and K on save and A to apply a configuration. Meanwhile, Plasma Shell can restart even on Wayland. Perhaps the single best thing about KDE in comparison to GNOME 